There is a problem in the United States. Most people no longer want Donald Trump to be president. I do not know Donald Trump, but if he is functioning at anywhere near a normal level with the amount of criticism he's been receiving, I would assume that he no longer wants to be president. There seems to be a win-win solution to this problem and I will give it after I have further stated the nature of the problem. There is a saying, be careful what you wish for, you may get it. It is not clear if Donald Trump really wanted to be president. My belief is that he wanted to lose the election and form his own news network, and whenever anything anywhere in the world went wrong, he would be able to say, see, I told you so. However, he got elected. He seems to be the least qualified person to be president in at least in at least the last century. He th thinks that the federal government is a large corporation and that the president is the CEO of that corporation. We have deviated from the original intent of the Constitution. The federal government has gotten much bigger and more complex than it was when the country started out. Therefore, much of the power has been transferred from Congress to the executive branch. What the government is supposed to be is it's supposed to be directed by Congress and they are to direct the president as to what to do. But due to the complexity of the government, a lot of the power has now gone to reside in administrative agencies, which are headed by the executive branch. Donald Trump made a lot of money being a good salesman. However, in doing that, he has stretched, if not broken, numerous laws. See, for example, the Trump University or the Trump Foundation. When he was a businessman, most people didn't care what he did. With the current nature of the media, everything that any public figure does or may have done is put under a microscope. The microscope he is under indicates that he may be exposed to criminal liability for various things he has done. As president, he likely has the par power to pardon himself for, for, criminal, for federal crimes. However, he does not have the power to pardon himself for state crimes. Now, he finds himself figuratively riding the back of a tiger. If he stays president, he will stay under the microscope. If he, if he resigns from the presidency, he will lose his pardon power and lose his other powers. The obvious solution to the problem would be to have him removed from the presidency under the 25th Amendment of the Constitution. The 25th Amendment allows that the president may be removed from office if he is incompetent. If he is incompetent to be president, he would also be incompetent to stand trial. Therefore, it would be a win-win situation for both the country and Donald Trump. The country would no longer have him as president, and he would escape criminal liability and could spend the rest of his days playing golf at Maro Largo Resort. But if you are of the liberal persuasion, do not do a happy dance over this prospect. If Mike Pence becomes president, he will make you long for the days when Donald Trump was president.